In this video, we're going to cover the seven three notes. So again, we're talking about special right triangles here. And in this one, we are going to talk about a long leg and a short leg. This is the way I like to do these. Now, we've got a drawing here, but I'm going to go ahead and again draw a different drawing for y'all and kind of walk you through it. So when we look at a 30, 60, 90 triangle, um, we have a 90 degree angle here and we have the 30 degree angle here. So the shorter side will be opposite the 30 degree angle. Then we have a 60 degree angle here and the longer side will be opposite um, that 60 degree angle. And obviously this will be our hypotenuse. Now when we're talking about a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have um, two formulas. The first formula is the hypotenuse is equal to two times the short leg. So if I were to tell you the short leg was five, then the hypotenuse would be 10. Or if I were to tell you that the hypotenuse was 24, then the short leg would be 12. So then we have another formula. That formula is that the long leg is equal to the short leg times the square root of three. Those are our two formulas for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So here again, we're going to work some problems together. And I like to ask these questions of myself as I'm working these problems because I think it helps me as I, as you guys get into these and you have all of them present in one assignment, you're going to have to be able to differentiate which one's a 45, 45, 90 and which one's a 30, 60, 90. So here we have a 60 degree angle, a 30 degree angle and a right angle. So it says, what kind of triangle is this? So we know this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Then it says, what is the length of the hypotenuse? So we're looking in this drawing over here and across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. So we're going to say H is equal to 22. Then it says, what is the length of the short leg? Well, in this drawing, the short leg, again, is across from the 30 degree angle. So it's X. So S equals X. And then we have the long leg, which is across from the 60 degree angle. And so L is going to be equal to Y here. Now, when we look at this problem, we have only a number for H. So we're going to start out by using this formula up here for H. So the formula for H was H is equal to 2S. So now we're going to populate that formula with what we have here. 22 is equal to 2X. S was X here and H was 22. Then we divide both sides by 2. So X equals 11. Now I like to say here too that this is the short leg because then I remember as I'm working through the problem. Now we got to find Y and Y was the long leg. So our formula for the long leg was L is equal to S radical three. Now, oh, let me remind you all of this. When we're doing a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the way I keep the square root of two and the square root of three straight is with the square root of two, I only have two angles in a 45, 45, 90 triangle, 45 and 90. Whereas with a 30, 60, 90, I have three angles, three distinct angle measures, 30, 60, and 90. So that's how I keep the square root of three attached to, is in my mind from a formula standpoint, to the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So now we're going to actually populate this again. So L was Y right here. So we're going to say Y is equal to, and our S right here is our short leg was 11. So, the, so we're going to put 11 in for S and the square root of three. So Y here was 11 square root of three, whereas X was 11. All right, let's go down here to the next problem. So this one is 1B. So in 1B, it says, um, find the value of X and Y, give your answers in simplest radical form again. It asks, first question we ask here is, what kind of triangle is this? We see a 30, a 60, and a 90, so we're gonna say that, because that tells us which formulas we're gonna use. What is the length of the hypotenuse? This time opposite the right angle is Y, so H equals Y. What is the length of the short leg? Opposite the 30 degree angle, so S equals X, and this time the long leg is 15, and it's opposite the 60 degree angle. So once again, we're looking at what do we have an actual number for, and that will help us determine which formula we're gonna use. We have a, a number for the 15, for L. So we're going to use the formula for L. L equals S radical three. So we're going to say 15 equals, and our S was X, X radical three. This time we're going to divide both sides again by square root of three. This is like what we did when we did the 40, 30, 60, I mean the 45, 45, 90. So gone from there. So we have 15 over the square root of three equals X. 
The way we get rid of that radical in the denominator, remember we can't have that there, is to multiply square root of 3 over square root of 3. I'm going to move it up here. I'm going to go up here to finish this problem. So that's going to give us 15 square root of 3 over 3 times 3 is 9, square root of 9. That's going to be equal to 15 over the square root of 3, or, or 15 square root of 3 times 15 times the square root of 3 over 3. Now, if you notice, that 3 will go into that 15 right there. So our final answer is going to be 5 square root of 3 because 3 goes into 15 5 times, and that's our x. Now, we also have to solve for y, and y is our hypotenuse. So we're going to say the formula for the hypotenuse over here is h equals 2s. So our h was y, and we're going to multiply two times. And again, this was our short side. x was our short side. So we're going to do 2 times 5 radical 3. Now, I don't know if you all remember this or not, but when we do 2 times 5 radical 3, we're only multiplying the 2 times the 5. So y is going to be equal to 10 radical 3. All right, let's go to the next problem. So our check it out, example 1a. Okay, so this one says, find the values of x and y again. Give your answers in simplest radical form. So this time we have a 60 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle. Well, we know that 60 plus 30 is 90. So again, we know that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. It says, what is the length of the hypotenuse? I'm just going to label this h now. And this is the short leg. Again, it's across from the 30. So I'm going to label this s. And I'm going to label this l. Now I know what my S, H, and L are, and this time I have H, so I'm going to use that formula for H. So H is equal to 2S, and if you notice here, now we can just plug in what we have. So we have 18 square root of 3 equals 2 times X. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. That's going to give me 9 radical 3 is equal to X. Now this X again is our short side. So I'm going to write short here, so I remember that. And as I work through this problem now, I'm going to try to find the long leg. So the formula for the long leg is L equals S radical 3. So our L here is Y. Our S, our short leg, is 9 radical 3. And we're going to multiply that by radical 3. So that's going to be Y is equal to 9 times the square root of 9 which is equal to 9 times 3. So that means our y is equal to 9 times 3, which is 27. OK, we're on the back. So what kind of triangle is this? We have a 30 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle there. So we know this one's 60. So again, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So that's our first thing that we're going to indicate. What is the length of the short leg? This time I'm going to say across from the 30, that's S. What is the length of the hypotenuse? This is our H. And what is the length of the long leg? This is our L. So now we're labeling the actual drawing, OK? So we have, this time, the short leg. So we could do either formula first. So let's go ahead and do H equals 2S. So H was Y. And 2 times s, which would be 2 times 5, is equal to 10. So our hypotenuse is 10. Then we want to go ahead and do our long leg. The formula for that is l is equal to s radical 3. So once again, we're going to put x here. And our short leg was 5, so it's going to be 5 radical 3. That was a pretty easy problem. Okay. Let's go on to the check it out example 3a. What kind of triangle is this? Again, we got a 30 degree angle, so this one up here is 60 because we got a 90 degree angle there. So let's label these sides again. So we know that this is H because it's opposite the right angle. This is S because it's opposite the, sh the 30 degree angle. This is going to be L because it's opposite the 60 degree angle. So we know it's a 30, 60, 90 again. So this time we have the hypotenuse, so we're going to use that formula. H equals S 
2s, right? So that's 24 equals 2 times x. So x is equal to 2 divided in, 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So our short leg is 12. Um, so again, I'm going to write short right here so I remember. And then I'm going to work for the long leg. So the formula for that is L equals S radical 3. So our long leg was Y. Y equals, our short leg here is 12, radical 3. So we have that one done too. Okay, check it out, 3D. So this one, again, says find the value of x and y. we got a 60 degree angle here, a 90 there, so this is a 30 degree angle. So this is a 30, 60, 90 again. I'm going to use one of our two formulas, or actually probably both of our formulas. So this is a cross from the right angle, so this is h. This is a cross from the 60 degree angle, so this is l. This is a cross from the 30 degree angle, so it's s. Short leg, long leg, hypotenuse. So this time we have the long leg, so we're going to use that formula. Long leg equals s square root of 3. So that means 9 is equal to, our short leg this time is y, square root of 3. Here again, we got to divide by square root of 3. Um, that's gone. So now we're going to say, we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. That's going to give us 9 square root of 3 over the square root of 9. That's going to be 9 square root of 3 over 3. 9 goes into 3, so our value for y is going to be equal to 3 square root of 3. And y is our short leg. Now we need to find the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. So our short leg is there. So our hypotenuse is x, x is equal to 2 times 3 square root of 3. Again, we just multiply the 2 times the 3, so x is going to equal 6 radical 3. Got a few more here to work just to get some extra practice, so I'm going to work them with y'all. So here again, let's go ahead and label. We know this is 30, 60, 90 because this is 60. So we've got our short leg over here because it's opposite the 30. We've got the long leg over here because it's opposite the 60 and we've got the hypotenuse here because it's opposite the right angle. So we've got h here so we're going to use the formula h equals 2s and when we do that we're going to substitute in 8 equals 2 times x so x is equal to 4. Again this is our short leg so we're going to now use this to solve for our long leg. The formula for the long leg is long leg is equal to short leg times the square root of 3 and our short leg was 4 so we got y is equal to 4 times the square root of 3. So there's our y and there was our x. Over here we're going to talk about um, again we're going to determine what things are. So Again, we got the 30 degree here because a right angle's there and 60's there. So this would be our short leg over here. Um, this would be our long leg because it's opposite the 60. And this would be our hypotenuse. So this time we have the long leg. So we're going to use that formula. Long equals S radical 3. So we've got the long, which is 7 square root of 3. That's equal to X square root of 3. This time we're going to divide both sides by the square root of 3. And so it's going to cross out there and it's going to cross out there. So our x is actually equal to 7 this time. And again, this is our short leg. So now when we're looking for our hypotenuse, that formula is h is equal to 2s. So this time we're going to do y is equal to 2 times 7. That's 14. So that's our y. Over here, this one is very clear. We got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're going to, again, label our sides. Across from the 30, that's our short side. Across from our 60, that's our long side. And across from our right angle, that's our hypotenuse. So this time we have our short leg. So 
we could use either formula first. So I'm going to go ahead and do h is equal to 2s. So that's going to be y is equal to 2 times 10. So y is equal to 20. Then we're going to use, we're going to find l. So l is equal to s radical 3. So our l up here is x. Our short leg was 10. So we're just going to say 10 times the square root of 3. So I hope this helped you guys, me working all these problems.